there are billions of books that you can read. Why restrict yourself to one author who's on the bestseller list? Welcome to Book Barn of the Finger Lakes. The business started for me as a teenager in a very, very small way. Uh, I came to Cornell. I have my green architecture and my license, but my specialty is adaptive reuse of historic structures. And I wanted to work on a project that was threatened. All the buildings on this property were going to be bulldozed. So I decided to uh, combine the architecture with the uh, book business. Uh, 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 I used to work part-time as an architect, but now the book business has completely taken over my life. And this is a new category. Uh, graphic novels didn't exist here five years ago, but they've become a big interest, big demand. Over here, um, the classic Superman, uh, the pre-war ones, the comics are very rare, but it's a compilation uh, of all the great Superman. There are genres that have changed through the years. And uh, in the last, uh, say, 10 years, uh, horror fiction has blossomed, uh, ghost stories, hauntings, the things that we don't know about. Uh, you know, one trend that has, uh, has declined is interest in World War II. And as the veterans have died out, there is less interest in World War II history. I've been doing this for four decades. Uh, I was mentored in this business. I've had mentors who I could ask questions to and talk with. I'm curious about the world also. I just don't read in one subject, fiction or nonfiction. I read widely. But you think I get to read all the time. I don't. Uh, I budget uh, about half an hour, 45 minutes to have breakfast and read. And that's my fun time. I can't tell you, I'd love to get up in the morning, have breakfast and read. Uh, and then I come out and I start work. But I get to, to work with books all day long. The book trade is really divided. People have discovered that um, it's easy to order books on the internet. And those that sell books on the internet are looking at product. They're not looking at books. They couldn't discriminate well on what somebody would be interested in versus what their, uh, the internet tells them will sell on the internet. There is no re um, physical relationship. To my right, uh, we have authors who are deceased before 1940, uh, uh, writing mostly from about 1750 to 1940. Uh, a lot of these authors were popular in the day. They're not being read today. There are authors out there who need to be rediscovered, who are great reads, uh, and they're not on the New York Times bestseller list, uh, and they're not endorsed by the academia. But that's, this is where you'll find them, because I've discovered them through my customers or through my travels. And that's what the barn is about. And there's over 300 categories of books here. It, it's it's kind of like a library, um, but it's, uh, different because the modern libraries have largely discarded the, the old stuff, the depth. And uh, that's exactly what I carry. Stuff that I know has endured and is interesting and also in good condition. Here's a book about uh, Preston Tucker uh, and his innovative American car. In paperback, has never been in hardcover. You won't find it at the library. Things here can be uh, uh, things that you'll never see again. I hear every day somebody coming in and saying, oh, I didn't know this book existed, or this is just exactly what I need, or what I was looking for. Well, when I recommend a book, I, I like to know something about the person. Uh, there's no, like, you know, universal declaration. I need to, to know my customers. I like to say that if you're an interesting person, you're going to find something interesting here. The acid test for any read is to try a few pages, open it up. Uh, I always say if you open a book up, uh, and it's interesting, the vapors will emanate uh, and you'll become interested. A good book will change your life.